Hello men, this is to all you men out there. I don't do a lot of videos specific to men. Most of my clients are actually women. Most people into health and natural health are women. One of my favorite jokes is that men don't usually come into my office unless they're sick or dying or in debilitating pain. But there are a lot of guys who care about their health. And when it comes to hormones, what do we think of when we think of men's health and hormones? Of course, we think about testosterone. So I just want to have a quick testosterone discussion. Now all men have testosterone and you have lots of other hormones too. You have the same, a lot of the same hormones that women have, they're just in different amounts. The testosterone is what makes a man a man. And a lot of times men, when they get into their 50s, and sometimes it happens even earlier if we don't take care of ourselves, even in the 40s, we start to have low libido, loss of sexual function, and men don't like to talk about their health issues. And so they're out keeping Viagra and um, Cialis is another one, keeping those companies in business, feeding the pharmaceutical drug industry profits uh, to try to deal with these issues. But really it's uh, a libido issue related to testosterone and probably a gland in your body called the adrenal glands. And I've done lots of classes on the adrenal glands and how that ties to testosterone. But you want to learn more about the adrenals and you want to learn natural ways, God's ways, to heal the body, to heal your hormones, your adrenals, and testosterone because there are lots of ways to do it. And if you're taking man-made chemical drugs, there's obviously dangers to that. Hence the long list of side effects and the, the dangers that might send you to the hospital if you take Viagra and these other drugs. But they're hugely popular because men are struggling with some of these issues and they don't like to talk about it. So the things you can do for testosterone, let me first talk about nutrition. The main reason men's health is failing and anybody's health is failing is poor nutrition. Uh, alcohol is one of the worst things that we can do for our health and for our endocrine system, overdoing um, alcohol, especially beer. Uh, you want to have a beer belly and you want to have uh, what they call, sorry to say it, but um, breasts, um, where men are starting to develop like breasts, it's because of the estrogen-like effect that um, is happening to their body through doing foods like beer and all the hormones that are in the meat and the dairy and just, and just over-consuming these foods. It's, it's causing men to become... Uh, their hormones to become more like women and that's a situation that no guy would would want to be in But what you can do for your testosterone is to change your diet to eat clean foods fruits vegetables nuts seeds I always promote Genesis 129 all seed bearing plants should be your food and eating clean lean quality meats uh, based off of Leviticus 11 um, It's not a legalistic thing. It's just intelligent eating the way God told us to eat because he's the one who designed us in the earth Besides diet, some of the things that you can do for testosterone are, of course, exercise. Extra, exercise stimulates um, hormone function and the adrenals. Uh, being plenty hydrated is really important. And there's a lot of great herbs to help with testosterone boosting. I'm just going to mention a few in this video, and we're going to do some specific product videos as well. But I want to give you an idea of some of my favorites and some that I've seen help a lot of men. I would say the one I've seen help the most men is deer antler. Men and women can both take deer antler. God's an intelligent designer so he knows if you're a man or a woman so he balances the hormones based on what you need. And I've had many men take deer antler and see tremendous effect in their strength, their stamina, their endurance, their sexual function, their libido, their testosterone. I'll never forget one guy who was a logger in Montana did incredible amounts of physical labor and, and he would get tired. I mean, he wouldn't get tired doing that, but I recommended deer antler and he just couldn't thank me enough at how much better he could work, how longer he could make it throughout the day, how much more energy he had, how much better he felt. And part of that reason is because it boosts hormones, it boosts testosterone. So deer antler is a great uh, product. Uh, we have a couple, one by Royal Velvet, one by Jing Herbs. Maca is well known for hormone balancing and great for increasing um, sexual function, libido, uh, increasing adrenal function. But I want to give you a couple herbs that are very, very specific to testosterone. The most well-known herb specific to testosterone is called Tong Kat Ali. T-O-N-G-K-A-T Ali. We use a, a company called Cedar Bear and we sell a lot of it and it works for men. 
and there's actually a group of natural bodybuilders. It's a bodybuilding group that they don't do anything synthetic, no chemicals, no drugs, and they literally buy this stuff by the gallon from, from the company that I get it from. Uh, another herb that's amazing for testosterone is called tribulus. It's tribulus terrestris, and that's another fantastic herb for increasing testosterone levels naturally. It's actually a, a, a fruit that's very good for that, and you can buy that in a powdered form, or you can take liquid tinctures, and we have all kinds of uh, formulas that, that a lot of guys take. We have one called Forza for men. We have a libido lift for men, and it's just a blend of some of these herbs that, again, are going to boost testosterone. So if you're having issues with libido or sexual function, or what happens to a lot of men when they get into their 50s, and like I said, even sometimes into their 40s, if you just don't feel like you just don't have that oomph, like you might even say, man, I'm not like I was in my 20s or my 30s, and I used to be an athlete. You can still have that same vigor and that vitality, and so much of that comes from having healthy testosterone levels. This is also important for your wife and for fertility and having healthy children. Um, so regardless of your age, you can benefit from taking these herbs and from eating a clean diet to have good healthy hormones. But testosterone, again, it's what makes a man a man. And so you want to make sure that you take care of it God's natural way, not the testosterone creams and the shots and the injections and the pharmaceutical drugs to give us artificial stimulation so that we can have an erection. Um, that is not the way God intended for you to have healthy hormones and healthy testosterone levels. So I pray that this information is beneficial to you and you use it for your better quality of life and better quality of life for your wife and your children. God bless.